So we now have a little exclusive because we are joined by the man who was the taxi driver in this, well, the part of this wild car chase with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Uh, Sonny Singh, who was driving his yellow cab last night and picked them up and went off for 10 minutes and then brought them back, it seems, joins me now live from New York. Mr Singh, thank you very much indeed for joining me. I know, Val. How are you doing? Could you tell me exactly what happened last night? Uh, so I was crossing on 67th Street, going east, going west on 67. And by the precinct, there was security standing there. They hailed me, and they say, "You need? A, are you empty?" I said, "Yes." And uh, like they told me to pull aside. As I pulled to the side, Prince Harry and his wife and uh, another lady jumped into my cab, and they seemed very nervous. And uh, as we went a block, we were blocked by a trash truck, and then all of a sudden, paparazzi just came out of nowhere, and just flashes just went off. How many paparazzi would you say there were when, when you uh, had them in your I cab? Say, uh, six. Six that I seen. And there were about two cars following us uh, as we as the trash cup a trash truck moved and there were two cars following us. And where did they want to go? Well, they were just about to say the location where they were gonna go, but then the paparazzi came and the security guard said, Hey, listen, just circle back to the precinct. So they had a security guard in the cab as well? In the cab, yes. Okay, and you see him in one of the pictures, he's sitting next to me. Were you surprised that they were in your cab? Uh, you know, not so much. You know, we get celebrities in the city all the time, you know, so not so much. We know that the paparazzi... And in New York City, you don't know who you get... Right. You don't know who you're going to pick up in New York, right? So... Right, and that's true. But, I mean, in your experience, was the paparazzi attention any more or less than it would be for other major celebrities? No, for them it was more. It was a lot more because I had other celebrities in my cab as well. But this one, they were because they just surrounded the car and just went crazy with the cameras. And how would you describe every turn? Every yeah, go ahead. How would you describe how Harry and Meghan were about this? They were nervous. They were nervous. You could see the look on their face. Did you they? Know? Did they talk to you at all directly? Uh, no, not as much. I mean, they, uh, when they were exiting, they say, what's your name? And I say, Sunny, and uh, that's like, have a good night. And then they exited, and then they went back into the SUV again. It's been categorised that there was a two-hour you know, wild car chase through the streets of New York. But was well, the, t was the that time... Must, that must have been... A ha that must have happened before me. So there was no, I think there was no like, the car chase when you were there? Uh, not when they got into my cab. We just went around the block and the car, two cars were tailing us behind us with a camera, and that was it. And then, and then you went back to where you'd actually picked them up? Yes, we went back to the precinct, and then they exited, and they, they thanked me, and I thanked them as well, and then they exited my car. Did they remember to pay you, Sonny? Yeah, they paid, they paid. They paid well, they paid well. So what's your, what's your view about this? You've become the most famous cab driver in New York tonight. What's your, what's your view about this? Incident. I don't know. I don't know about that. There's another one that's on TikTok. He has a bunch of celebrities in his cab, <laughs> and he's even got pictures with them. Do you think it's uh, it's been overblown this incident or not? You know, I don't know what they went through last night, right? Because mm. I only had an interaction with them for 15 minutes, and they seemed very nervous while they were in my cab. Okay. Well, Sonny, listen. I appreciate you joining me, the man at the center of the of the know. storm, quite literally. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a pleasure talking to you too. Eh? All the best. OK, well, joining me now is the Sunday Times columnist Charlotte Ivers, the associate editor of The Mirror, Kevin Maguire, and from New York, Fox News contributor and former bodyguard to Snoop Dogg, amongst others, Tyrus. Well, Tyrus, let me start with you. You're, a, you're in New York. You've been a bodyguard yes, to a major star. What do you make of this story? Uh, man, you know what? Uh, it sounds much to do about nothing. Uh, it, you know, if it was anybody else, it's just that, you know, the, I don't know, are they still the royal family or they still don't want to be a part of it, but want to be a part of it, whatever their mm. issue is. They just come across so thirsty all the time. They drink uh, seawater. But uh, it sounds like, it didn't sound to me like it was that big of a deal. You're in New York. It's going to be crowded. Uh, maybe have your publicist stop calling paparazzi and tell them where you're at. Mm. Uh, to get in a cab to go around the corner and come back seems silly. Uh, when uh, I was with Snoop, and we were approached by paparazzi or he was ever made to feel nervous, I would have got out of the cab and confronted them and typically make an example out of one guy with the camera mm -hmm. and the rest would follow. So uh, it just seems like it was more staged than anything else. And of course, a two hour car chase in New York, 
uh, where were you going? 15 miles an hour? It's New York. You can't move. Well, so, I think it's pretty you know, clear it just, now it wasn't two hours. They seem to have diverted no, it was, a, police, a police station the, for at least, it looks like, half of that time. Sounds like South Park has got a sequel. <laughs>